headline of every newspaper. But here in this case, this book has not even created a whisper except for the book reviews. Uh, so yes, I mean, if, if the media does not want to, if the media has lost its spine to report, why should the governments in power? And I'm really appalled at the way the judiciary has acted. I mean, let's assume for the sake of argument that what I'm saying in the book is false. Why haven't the officers who I have named in the book dragged me to court and filed a defamation case against me if any word of this is false? Why haven't the Supreme Court or the, or the courts investigating this case, let's assume for the sake of argument it's all false, called me and sent me a notice and I've taken so far to cognizance and asked why am I spreading these canards? Why is, I mean, I'm not saying accept my book as the ultimate truth, but please question me. Nobody has even bothered to question me. These are big claims. There is an officer who was the investigating officer in the Harain Pandya case who says that the man who killed Harain Pandya was in the custody of the Gujarat police and he was let out to kill Harain Pandya at the behest of Amit Shah and Modi. Can you imagine an information like this did not create any ripple in the mainstream media? I mean, ideally, the top ministers and the government should have crumbled and Mr. Modi should have been held accountable. <coughs> Unfortunate. Did you or did anyone on your behalf try to get in touch with investigators or judges? Uh, the lawyers, uh, the lawyers on, I mean, there have been many human rights lawyers who, are, who have been working on this case. They tried to get a reinvestigation. They filed an SLP, but the Supreme Court and the High Court has squashed the request so far. So what now? Are you done with this? Are you going to release the evidence? What are your plans? Uh, see, the, if I could have easily released the tapes uh, uh, on YouTube, but, but Mr. Modi government is it's, it's a very smart government. They would immediately slap an IT act on me. Because unless the tapes are checked by the forensic department, I cannot release any tape uh, on, in the public domain. And the tapes are only with me, so I cannot even anonymously release them. But uh, the logical conclusion is that uh, if the Supreme Court of India does not ask me, I will go to the doors of the Supreme Court, I will go to the SIT and ask them to accept the tapes. If not, then I'll have to find a way or release them internationally. So, do you think that this is what a journalist should be doing? I, I, I not, not in terms of... Um, this, should a journalist have to do all this? Shouldn't other authorities be doing this now that you've done your job? I, you know, I've never really understood what should a journalist be doing or what not be doing. I mean, I've never really understood the definition. I mean, when I joined the profession, I was told that a journalist's job is to uncover the truth. And I'm doing just that. I don't know why am I being labelled with various adjectives. I mean, this is what I was, you know, when I was in journalism college, uh, about 12 years ago, all the professors and all the visiting faculty would tell me, you know, various concepts of journalism. And I took them very seriously. And this is why this book happened. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Our job of a journalist is to just go out there when, even when nobody supports you. And I have done just that. I mean, I will not hold it against other journalists if they are not doing it because I understand where they're coming from. But for me, journalism is not a job, it's not a nine to five corporate job. It was it was a way of speaking truth to power and I'm doing just that. I 